So today we're going to look at angiosperms. And angiosperms are flowering plants that produce seeds enclosed in a fruit. Well, what is a fruit? A fruit is a structure that holds seeds and is formed from the ovary after flowering. Angiosperms can be divided up into two groups, monocots and dicots. Now, monocots have one cotyledon, which is a seed leaf or part to their seed, and they have flower parts in groups of three. Now, dicots, on the other hand, have two cotyledons to their seeds, and they have flowering parts in groups of four or five. Now, looking back at monocots, they have bundles of vascular tissue that are scattered throughout the stem and show up as parallel veins in the leaves. Now, dicots, the bundles are in a ring or circle and show up as branching net-like veins in their leaves. Because they are the most common plants on earth, angiosperms form the basis for the most animal diets, even including humans. Now, angiosperms are important in making many medicines, perfumes, and pesticides. They are also important because they take in huge amounts of CO2 and release lots of oxygen during photosynthesis, especially in the tropical rainforest.